top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail. Hey guys, what's going on? Tim Pasir, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool, uh, clean gaming YouTube banner. And it's a really easy tutorial, so you guys will be definitely be able to do this. It's one you guys really like. Um, I uploaded a speed art, like, I think it was last week, and it was very similar to this. Um, I think I'll put a picture on the screen right now. And um, yeah, it's really easy to do. You guys really liked it. The likes uh, was very high. I think it was like 40, something like that. So I uh, decided to make a video on it today. So let's get straight into it. Before the, before we start, guys, be sure to hit the like button. Can we break 30 likes today? Uh, it would mean a lot if you could do that. And also, guys, comment down below what video you want to see from me next. And let's get into the video. So guys, first, what we're going to do, you need to open up your banner file. Um, you should all have a banner file. Um, I'm not really too sure on the size, but you can definitely get a template out on Google. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, we want to create a background. You don't want it to be fully black. You want it to be around just a bit lighter than black, and then you want to fill in the background on a new layer. So once you've done that, make a new layer and get white, and we're going to add some highlights. Um, so I'll probably just add one here and probably one here as well. I'm just going to decrease that. Boom. So we're getting a bit of a highlight effect going on over there. And then once you've done that, you want to go to um, a new layer and you want to go to like blue or something. Doesn't matter what color you choose, I'm just going to go with blue right now. And you want to go down at the bottom and just decrease the opacity a little bit say 15% bang then add a new layer and you want to go to white we're gonna add some overlay here so bang there boom 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 and change it to overlay looking nice and decrease the opacity once you've done that add a new layer let's go to black we're gonna add a bit of a um, shadow over here we're gonna decrease the opacity of that Nice. So, now once you've done that, um, I'm just going to use my um, Tempest pack. If you've not got this, be sure to download it. Um, I've got it in a video, 1.2k GFX pack, so just look, search that up. Um, you don't actually have to use this, it's just a little subtle effect. Um, this little um, design right here, it's just a really cool effect. So if you want to use this, make sure you download it in the link, I mean in the 1.2k GFX pack. So what we're going to do is come, come, uh, color dodge, but it's a color dodge band looking nice. Right, now that is the background for now done. Group that all together. So once you've done that, add a new layer. Make sure you've got um, some rulers up. If you don't know how to get rulers up, press Control R and then you can just drag it and it should like lock in the middle. So I've done that. We're gonna add some little strokes around the outside. I think it looks pretty cool. I think we'll just do this. I think we'll just, um, something like that. And I'm gonna change this to like a, um, darkish blue colour like so yeah nice and then I'm gonna add another layer and just basically just create some shapes around the outside is what I'm doing nothing too fancy I'm just you know creating some cool shapes and then for this one I'm gonna make it a lighter blue colour So this is just for example, I'm not really, I'm just kind of rushing this part here. So boom, you should have something looking like that, just a couple of uh, little strokes around the outside, Looks, uh, gives it a really cool effect. Um, so once you've done that, make sure you merge the two groups so they're all together. 
In fact, delete um, one of them, keep the other, and you want to go to uh, add a new layer and then create clipping mask. And then you want to get the one tool, make sure it's on the new layer here, and then just click on the middle layer. So for me it's the white layer, and basically I'm just going to create like a little shadow effect to make it look like um, it's in between the two little blue layers. It's a real problem. I'm going to do that again actually. Is it a sick effect? So boom, simple stuff. Oh no, I did it on the wrong way. Sorry about that guys, let me do it again. Do it on the layer above. So boom, and then I decrease the opacity of that. So, so. And then once you've done that, click, double click on it and go to gradient. And then set it to around 130 overlay. And decrease the opacity to about 35, I'd say. Boom, rasterize it. And then you want to duplicate it and then move it across. Simple. Bang. So you've got something looking like that so far. Uh, it doesn't really match the background at the moment, so we're going to fix that. So we're, gonna, we're just going to add some uh, color corrections. Brightness up a bit. Contrast. So it should be 20 and 25, something like that, guys. You can just really mess around with this part. It's up to you. And then you want to create a bit of an S shape here. A little kind of curve, if you can see it. Bang, something like that. And exposure, you just want to bring up this little bit to around 28. Next, go to Photo Filter and change it to blue. And then finally, go to grade, uh, no, uh, yeah, Gradient Map. You want to just get the two colours. So mine's blue, so I'll have a light blue and the dark blue as well. And then really, you can just mess around with this part. I think that I think soft light for me looks pretty good. I'll leave it like that. Boom. Now once you've done that, create a new layer. Then go to white. And you want to create a bit of highlights at the top. So make sure it's right down the middle. And then bring down the opacity. And then same again, add a middle layer and then one at the bottom and change this one to overlay. So I think it looked really cool so far. Next, add another layer, we're going to add some shadows around the outside again. So just bang, do that. We have it diagonal. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then decrease the opacity again. So it should look something like this so far. Finally, once you've done that, you want to add a new layer, go to blue. We're just going to add a little overlay over the top of that. Make sure it's below the shadow and the lightings and everything, so you don't want to mess around with that stuff. Once we've done that, let's just move this down to, say, color dog shot. It's nice. Um, next, what should we, um, yeah, next, um, go to another layer, basically this banner is all about, um, adding shadows and little highlights and stuff like that to make it look really cool, I'm just going to add some little, little, um, overlay white spots, see the difference, it looks pretty nice, um, yeah, then once you've done that, Add some text in the middle, let's just see what it looks like. Put your name. Um, can you see? Um, doesn't really matter what uh, text you've got here. Uh, I'm just going to use this uh, to move. Connect. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But um, yeah, let's just do this. Your name. It's just a really clean uh, YouTube banner style. I really like this style, and you guys liked it as well. So, official channel of, boom. 
Oh yeah, guys. Um, uh, make sure you check out the video, the other video from today, how to get verified on YouTube. Um, I'll put, I'll, you can, there's a, it'll be um, at the end of the video if you've not seen it already. Um, just click on the link at the end of the video, so check that out, guys. Um, boom. Looking nice so far. And then you could probably put your social media below it. And if you want, you could actually get some smoke. You can get the smoke off the internet, but I've also got it in this pack. It's a really good pack, this, if you've not downloaded it already. But long, so I even got the social media in there as well. So we're just gonna a bit of smoke. You don't actually have to do this. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. And you know, bring down the opacity. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Um, I'm not sure. All right. Once you've done that, guys, um, you just want to do some more color corrections, some brightness and contrast. Move that up. Move that up. Just see, look at what um, stuff I've, um, I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. I just want to get uh, through this part. So yeah, same again. Just go with the S shape, and then exposure. Bring that up, and then photo filter blue. Bang. Yeah, that looks really nice. Sick. Nice. So yeah. Just gonna add one little little splash at the top. Boom. Really cool effect. And then what else could we do? Oh we could do this. Uh, you don't have to do this if you want, but get a rectangle tool. Uh, yeah, just get a rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Uh, and then we go to filter, blur, motion blur. Make sure it's at 90 degrees. In fact, no, not 90 degrees, uh, zero. And just increase that a little bit. Just make sure it's a bit of a glow. You basically want to set this to overlay. And then we're going to the opacity. Just gives it like streaks of light. Looks really cool. Yeah guys, that's about it, um, I think that's pretty good, and then if, if you do want to change at the end, just go over here to hue and saturation, if you've not got it there, go down to the bottom here, this little half circle thing, hue and saturation should be there, so you can just change it if you don't like the colour, you can change it to green, that looks really nice, this bang, looks good, just a nice clean gaming banner. Uh, little style so make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy the video if you want to see more like this make sure you comment down below and also guys make sure you share let's get out this to, uh, let's get this video out to as many piece people as possible and also guys thanks so much for the support recently uh, the so far the support on my last video today the verification um, video that's doing really good so far so make sure you keep up the awesome work and also guys we're getting really close to uh, 2k so let's try and get there we hit 1.9k yesterday and we're growing rip lows so thanks so much for that yeah guys uh, thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video